Thank you so much, Representative Golden. Thank you, Donna and Bill. Um, just thank you all so much for this honor. I so appreciate and admire all that you do, uh, the representatives and senators here um, uh, in, this, in this esteemed place, uh, the legislative aides who are here, thank you so much, um, the students, uh, the providers, medical providers, community advocates, you all make such a difference in our world um, in, in, in helping people lead healthy lives, uh, in preventing the tragedy of cancer, and in helping people um, have, have positive outcomes and live long and healthy lives. Uh, I'm so grateful to Less Cancer and University of Virginia for coordinating this wonderful and greatly needed day. Cancer prevention is an extraordinary passion for me personally and for my organization, Healthy Acadia. As Donna said, we're a nonprofit serving primarily Northeastern Maine, uh, known as Down East Maine, uh, and working on issues of community and public health across a wide variety of uh, issues, as Donna mentioned, uh, responding to the health needs of our region, uh, to the community members, um, and, and helping all people to thrive and meet their potential. While we work across a wide variety of issues, much of what we do is in fact connected to cancer prevention, from increasing access to healthy foods, to supporting physical activity for all people, from addressing environmental concerns like high levels of arsenic in well water and radon in homes, to implementing tobacco prevention and cessation initiatives. We also coordinate cancer patient navigation services, as Donna mentioned, to support individuals along the cancer recovery journey and to improve outcomes. This work touches me and many of my team deeply and personally. I have lost loved ones far too young to the tragedy of cancer, as I know many of us have. And like less cancer and like all of us in the room today, we know that these cancers can indeed, many of them can indeed be, be prevented or cured if people have the right access to healthy opportunities and high quality health care. My extraordinary dedicated staff, volunteers, and partners are responsible for this award. They work tirelessly to make the healthy choices possible for all people, to build systems to enable all people to lead healthy lives, and to address the challenges that we face in our rural and underserved communities. So on behalf of all of them, I thank you, and I share my deepest gratitude to you all for your leadership in preventing cancer and promoting health. Thank you so much.